Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to discuss how to find limiting values and rates of growth. Now, when it comes to limiting values, it's just simply another way of saying, find the limits. Now, it really depends on what it is, simply because you have a variety of functions out there, and so you have to find the limit, and you have to be given certain parameters. In other words, what number will x approach, and things like that. And uh, more often than not, for when it comes to finding the limit, you'll either plug in the number right away, or you may have to use some algebraic manipulation before you can plug in the number to find the limit. Some functions have no limits, so it really depends on what the scenario happens to be. But when it comes to finding limiting values, it's just another way of saying find the limit. When it comes to rates of growth, often it's just another way of saying find the derivative or find the rate of change. And what that implies is, depending on the function that you have, find the derivative either using the very, you know, the power rule or the quotient rule, chain rule, etc. But when it comes to finding the rate of growth, growth is a form of change. And so when you're finding the rate of change, you're finding the derivative because that's what the definition is. So depending on the function, these are simply code words for what the actual calculus operation is supposed to be. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's a brief general strategy on finding limiting values and rates of growth.